truth is, guys, there's no rocket science to this whole game. You got to find what inspires you, and you got to live in that moment as much as you can. Every day is not going to be that moment. The goal is for it to be, but every day is just not going to be that moment, especially when you're in the beginning stages, man. Patience is the father of progress. Never forget that. Without patience, you have no progress. Without patience, you have stagnation. Stagnation is your best friend without patience. Love on yourself, man. Take it easy. It's so easy to get caught up in what Satan tells you about how stuff's supposed to go. But if you listen to what Jesus tells you about how stuff's supposed to go, you'll lead with love. And when you lead with love, you get way more confidence. Don't listen to people's ideas, man. People always got an idea about something. They always have an ideology about something. As if the truth don't exist. Let them talk, man. Just hit them with the, yeah, I feel you. And just keep it moving, man. Everybody's opinion is not warranted. Everybody's opinion doesn't matter. Sometimes your opinion doesn't even matter. But you know what's gonna always matter? The truth. You know what the truth is? The truth is consistent. And it never changes. No matter who does it, who abides by it, who agrees with it, who disagrees with it, the truth will always remain. But this is the honest truth about life. You only get one shot to live it the best way you know it. In between life and death, do whatever you gotta do. Learn whatever you gotta learn. Make whatever mistakes you need to make to get where you need to go. Sometimes you are gonna just stumble into that greatness. Sometimes you're gonna twist and turn into that greatness. Sometimes you're gonna hold your eyes closed and hold your breath and just open your eyes, surprise. You win that new lifestyle. Or sometimes you're gonna walk into it like a boss. But that, none, none of that matters. The only thing that matters is you get there, okay? And you don't get there screwing people over. You don't get there backbiting, backbiting people. You don't get there trying to compete with everybody. You get there by building a family. You get there by getting with a team of people. They got the same vision as you, okay? If everyone plays their role in the kitchen, everybody eats. That's the biggest thing we got to understand here. Stop trying to be the chef, the waiter, and the guest and the cashier like pick a role preferably one that you specialize in get around other people that specialize in their role in that same field you guys team up and you make the dream work that's how success is had that's how you accomplish things the greatest things are accomplished by a team that loves what they're doing just like some of the worst tragedies are accomplished that by people that hate what they're up against. See what I'm saying? You have to devise something that's going to be beneficial for everybody. Not just a one-man show. Even if you see one man on the forefront, think about it. Think about the military. The soldiers, yeah, they're on the forefront, right? Nobody thinks about this. The soldiers are on the forefront, but they're not the most important people. You got a commander. And yeah, you got commanders, but they're not the most important people. You have government. So understand what I'm telling you. Know your role and play it. My role is to be on the forefront. That doesn't make me more special than people that got to be on the back end or people that's behind the scenes. That make me just the person that's on the forefront and I have a job to do on the forefront. Just like the people behind me have a job to do. And if we all do it at an excellent high level, we'll all get there. No question to ask. So stop trying to compete. And leave the superstar syndrome alone, man. Everybody that's a part of the team that's winning is a winner. When Jordan got those rings, Jordan just didn't get the ring alone. He wasn't the only player who got a ring. The people on the bench got a ring. The coach got a ring. The, the owners, they benefited. The fans, they benefited. Everybody benefited. The players, the kids' players benefited. The families of the coaches benefited. Everybody benefited when Jordan got six rings. When Bill Russell got 11 rings, right? Everybody benefited. The Celtics benefited as a franchise. So don't misunderstand that, man. Yeah, you may be on the forefront. Yeah, you may be the superstar, the one that everyone sees. But don't lie to the people and make it seem like you're the most important role or that it's only about you because it's not. So yeah, my job is to be on the forefront. That's what I was created to do. I was created to be seen. But the team of people that rock with me, they have a job to do. And as long as we all do our job equally great, we're all going to have great results. That's what I want to leave y'all with today, guys.
Don't stress. Do your best. And if you happen to, make sure you clean up your mess. See you.